I'm Buffy Lim. I am Central Colorado Conservancy's Watershed Restoration Specialist. After growing up in Colorado, I went um, to Middlebury College in Vermont, which was a great experience, but I knew right afterwards that I wanted to get back to Colorado. And I worked um, at Breckenridge on their ski patrol for a few years and got to do some great field biology jobs in the summer. I studied grizzly bears in Montana and tropical forests in Costa Rica and sea turtles in Hawaii. And then I went back to graduate school and got a master's in ecology up at CSU in Fort Collins. And that's where I met my husband. And we worked together after grad school at Boulder County Open Space. And then for our honeymoon, we went um, and did the Peace Corps in Mexico. We had a great experience um, working in the Sierra Gorda Biosphere Reserve. So in my role at the Conservancy, I get to coordinate the Arkansas Headwaters Wetland Focus Area Committee, which is really important work. Riparian areas and wetlands are nature's system for filtering and cleaning and storing and conserving our fresh water. And so um, it's been a really neat opportunity to bring together wetland scientists, landowners, folks from natural resource management agencies, and really everyone who cares about our wetlands and riparian areas and the headwaters here. Another one of my favorite parts of my job is working with our Hands for Lands volunteers. It's been a lot of fun to get out on some of our local ranches and help ranchers with ditch cleaning, fence projects, whatever needs they have. Um, our private lands and our ranch lands in particular provide so much to the community and so it's a great way that we can get out and help um, local ranchers and give a little back. We also work at some of the state wildlife areas here locally, like at Sands Lake and do stream bank plantings. And so that's been a great way for me to get to know some of our members and get out on the land together. It's so exciting to see the success that Central Colorado Conservancy is having um, and all of the great land protection work we've been able to accomplish and knowing that we are conserving some of these landscapes for the long term. Equally important in my mind is restoration. Colorado has lost 50% of its wetlands. And so we also need to think about how we can restore and enhance habitat that's been lost. One of those great opportunities for restoration that we've identified is in the Badger Creek watershed. A 100 square mile watershed just east of here where we've been getting some really exciting riparian restoration demonstration projects on the ground that are growing that green ribbon of habitat along the creek and also doing a lot to capture sediment and improve the water quality coming out of Badger Creek. Wetlands and riparian areas are really the green jewels of our landscape. We have, you know, only 2% of our landscape is comprised of wetlands and riparian areas, and yet over 75% of wildlife species depend on them at some point in their life cycle. So they really are the biodiversity hotspots and they're disproportionately important, um, especially here in the headwaters. We really impact the whole Arkansas basin, which goes all the way out to Kansas. Um, these healthy headwaters restoration projects really are good for water quality and quantity for the whole basin. So this is really important work that we're doing out here. It was really exciting when I got into that first meeting where that Buffy was leading and Mark Beardsley was there, NRCS, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, all these folks were there, a couple of landowners were there. I thought, wow, this is, this is a bunch of people meeting each other where they're at. 
And, and if we want to, to really e enhance our impact, expand our impact beyond just set boundaries on private lands, we need to work across those public spaces as well. And uh, you can't do that unless they're all in the room together talking about those things. The Badger Creek Watershed Partnership is one of my favorite parts of my job. Um, it's just a great group of folks. A long history of erosion, the Texas cattle drives used to come through here, and so what we think were broad slope wetlands were really channelized into a narrow creek, so we're trying now to reverse that process, to slow that water down, spread it out, create a wider riparian area, a river escape or a streamscape rather than a, a single thread channel. The whole idea of this project is to turn this water shed into a water catchment. We want to capture every drop of water here and have it infiltrate, create this fertile soil, create this green vegetation, and really be able to slow down the flows, create more wildlife habitat. So this is, um, it's working really well. You can see it in action out here. Instead of a little single thread channel whipping through here, we've got the water really meandering and moving around and spreading out. The whole water table's coming up. I'm Mark Beardsley, um, and together with Jessica Duran and David Sutherland, we're Ecometrics. I was introduced to Badger Creek about 15 years ago, and, and, and I was enamored with this watershed. It was huge. It's the Wild West out here, but it has so much potential. And, and it's fun to have now, under the Conservancy's leadership, to have this active group really starting to get some things done from all walks of life, the people that live here, the people that make their living here, um, to the people downstream that run reservoirs <laughs> that are impacted by the sediment that comes from here. Most people's perception of a creek is is this one little strip this little channel but the creek's not just this little string it's this whole riverscape badger creek is a big wide system a big complex system and this channel right here is really more of a drainage ditch this should be a big wetland complex the water should be mostly moving under the ground and flowing through this system you know hyperically underneath underneath the soil and through the soil. It shouldn't be draining out like this. So the idea with this restoration was to kind of, not so much redesign this whole system, but just trying to do some like kind of gentle treatments to kind of get it to recuperate itself. And where we just walk through that channelized zone, um, what we're trying to do is break that up. We, we, we're, we're trying to, to keep that from draining this whole wetland system. So to do that, this is really simple, about as low tech as you can get. We just took sod from the side of the creek and built these little speed bumps to kind of just break up this channel that used to flow through here. And the water's still moving through the system, but now we're kind of forcing it around and forcing it through the ground, um, raising the water table up. And that's the reason some of these plants can start to flourish. I can. See, it's wet out here now, squishy. And these are wetland plants. These sedges are, are loving it. They're eating it up. They're, um, we want these to flourish. These are gonna be the roughness that will help control erosion during the big floods, the big flash floods. The, I mean, this should have been, Badger Creek should have been great habitat for boreal toads and leopard frogs and some of the other amphibians that used to be common out here and are now rare and even on the verge of extinction. So yeah, hopefully we can restore some of that. And uh, you know, it's really about keeping, letting the water move through this system more like it naturally did and support the natural plants that would have been here and all that life that depends on those things. Yeah, hopefully if we get that system up and running then it'll just keep perpetuating and getting better and better.
Buffy is a passionate person and she really cares about the things she cares about and it becomes obvious to everyone. Um, it, it's actually really awesome and it's very inspiring. The guys filming this right now are going to walk away with an appreciation for Badger Creek, which they had never heard of before. And it's because, because Buffy is so excited about it. It's, it's contagious. You know that if you know her. <laughs>